Today, we delve into Genesis chapter 36, a chapter that explores the lineage and descendants of Esau. Our story takes us to the land of Seir, where Esau, also known as Edom, has settled with his wives, sons, daughters, and various clans. Esau, the eldest son of Isaac and brother of Jacob, has built a prosperous and influential lineage. The chapter begins by introducing Esau's wives. He marries three women, Adah, the daughter of Elan, the Hittite, Ahalibamah, the daughter of Anna, granddaughter of Zibion the Hivitite, and Bashamoth, the daughter of Ishmael and the sister of Nabajeth. Esau's wives bear him five sons, Eliphaz, Ruel, Jush, Jalam, and Korah. These sons become the heads of various Edomite clans, each with their own descendants and territories. As the narrative unfolds, we learn about the chiefs and kings who emerged from Esau's lineage. The Edomites establish a complex social and political structure with chiefs ruling over different regions and kings reigning over the entire Edomite nation. This chapter also highlights the land of Edom and its geographical boundaries. The Edomites occupy a vast territory stretching from Mount Seir to the border of Egypt. Within the land of Edom, the narrative mentions the presence of another group called the Horites. The Horites, indigenous to the region before the arrival of the Edomites, interact with Esau's descendants, leading to intermarriage and cultural exchange.